Hi DVC fan, Amy and Paul here. We are at the Polynesian Village Resort and we just finished up dinner at Ohana. Uh, we went there, it was my choice for my birthday <laughs> and I wanted some noodles. So we just had dinner there and we're gonna share uh, our experience with you. As always, if you like the content that we produce here on DVC Fan, please show some love for our sponsors over at the world of DVC. DVC Resale Market, where if you're looking to buy a Polynesian contract and uh, or add on to your membership or potentially sell uh, one of your contracts, they can help with that process. Monera Financial can help with financing that Polynesian resale contract purchase. And the DVC Rental Store, where you can try before you buy, rent some points, or rent out your own points. It is a beautiful night at the Polynesian tonight. And if you've never come up this little hill, it is an awesome view. We're kind of looking at all the bungalows. Cinderella's castle is right here. I don't know if they pipe in the music in this area, but nobody's up here. So we're gonna kind of hang out, I think, and find out. But the sun is setting, the tiki torches are on, and I just can't believe how beautiful it is over here. Yeah, this has to be, this is over on the villa's side of the property. So I assume that the same speakers that you're hearing some Polynesian music through right now are gonna be the same ones that maybe uh, have happily ever after on later tonight. We're gonna to stick around and find out. But uh, had a wonderful dinner at Ohana tonight. And I think the one thing to preface this review with is that every year or so you've kind of got to erase those preconceived notions that you have when it comes to a Disney dining experience. We've heard over the years great things about Ohana and we've heard terrible things about Ohana and it kind of just ebbs and flows like most restaurants do. You know, you have good days, you have bad days. And we can all remember the dark days of seafood casserole here at Ohana, but I think those are those are behind us at least. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that this was one of the, the best experiences, yeah. honestly, that we've had at Ohana and we've been there a handful of times in the past there's been a lot of changes i've noticed throughout the years but i think that we had a really good meal and, and we're excited to kind of talk about it i started out with one of my favorite drinks on property it is a non-alcoholic so mocktail and I call it the Kiki Lemonade. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> but they have it at Tambu Lounge also, and then they serve it at Ohana. 
It is a beautiful drink, that emerald green color. It's got some fruit in it, and it is Minute Maid lemonade, pineapple juice, passion fruit, and some citrus. I absolutely love this drink. It's always just a very fresh flavor. The pineapple really shines in it. It's it's not too sweet. Like a lot of uh, mocktails tend to be very sweet. It's just the right amount of refreshing. So I absolutely love that drink. I've gotten it multiple times. I went with something a little bit stronger for the evening and ended up going with the beloved back scratcher, which is one of the signature drinks here at the Polynesian and at Ohana. The back scratcher has Bacardi Superior Rum, Plantation Orange Dark Rum, and Guava Passion or Pog Juice topped with Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey. And of course, it, com <laughs> it comes with a bamboo back scratcher, which Amy did not believe me when I said, yes, you can take the back scratcher with you. Yeah, it, I didn't want to steal it. Like I, thought, I thought you had to give it back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so this is going to come in handy for me later, I yeah, think. But back scratcher, always a good choice here at the Polynesian. I would recommend just give it a nice stir when you, when you get it at the table, kind of mix all of those flavors around. But if you love the pog juice and want to add just a little bit of a rum flavor to it, this is the perfect drink to kind of start off your meal at Ohana. For the cost, dinner at Ohana is $59 per adult. Uh, plus taxes and gratuity. So for both of us tonight, for everything, we were, with a DVC discount, we were around $160 for two adults. Yeah, and it is all you care to enjoy. So whatever you like that comes to the table, you can always order another skillet or a select item and get more of that. Uh, but overall, I think it's a decent value. Families love this place because they can just come here and this can be like that big meal of the day. You know, have something light for breakfast or lunch and then come here and have just a huge dinner uh, full of all of your favorites that you've come to love from Ohana over the years. So I do think it's a pretty decent value. Uh, for me personally, I could, would, could probably spend that money at a different restaurant on property a little bit better and enjoy my my meal more but overall very very happy with the price the first food item that comes to your table is going to be the ohana bread and it is served with the honey butter and it's kind of like a, a little bit of a coconut mm -hmm. right a coconut type bread i really like it it's changed some over the years but i you can it just has like that hint of coconut not too much the honey butter was really good uh, i liked it yeah, I thought it was a little bit on like the dense and dry side, but when you paired it with the salad that also came alongside of it, I thought dipping that in some of the dressing that came with the salad. The salad's just a basic mixed green salad with a citrus vinaigrette, almost like a creamy Italian I would equate it to, but very fresh. Everything was great looking on the plate. And then the dressing, like I said, take some of that bread and sort of uh, get get the rest of that dressing that's on your plate after you're said and done with it. Yeah, I actually kept the rest of that dressing and I used it to dip other things in, like the pot stickers. So yeah. I, it was a really good dressing. It would be great if they bottled it and sold it here. The next thing that we got was the like the appetizer skillet. Yep. And it's a little strange because on the menu they list the side dishes, like the noodles and the vegetables down with the dinner items, but they actually for us came with the appetizers. So they basically sat this skillet down and they're, here's your appetizers. And it was wings and pot stickers and the noodles and the, the broccoli and vegetables. So it was kind of weird to have all that as part of the appetizers. But I will say those, uh, I call them pot stickers. On the menu, they're called pork dumplings. Uh, it says tossed in a garlic chili sauce. Paul, Paul put in his notes that they were dry, and I agree with that. They used to serve them with a side of sauce, and I yeah. miss that they don't do that anymore. But I dipped them in a couple different things. I dipped them in the salad dressing, and I thought that it helped. And I dipped them in the sauce that came later with the steak, and I thought that was, that was really good. I thought they were cooked really nice. They had like a good crispness to it. But without serving it with a side of sauce, yeah. it, it does. It makes them a little bit drier than normal. We did not ask for that. I'm sure that you could probably get that side probably. of sauce, but um, overall, they just 
they were probably coated in it and then they were cooked and so they were kind of dry when they arrived at the table. Uh, that being said, also with that appetizer platter, and this is kind of the biggest platter that's going to come to your table over the course of the meal. The main dishes are actually uh, in very small plates when you receive them later in the meal, but the noodles are what you can expect from Ohana noodles. They are kind of the signature star of the show, but you were not as <sighs> excited. Yeah, I, I came for the noodles and they've always been my favorite. I just feel like they were a little different. Uh, so they're very, they're just very plain. There's no vegetables or anything in them. I kind of wish they had some vegetables in them, but the sauce on them to me this time, I don't know. It was just a little, I don't know if I want to say it was bland. It just wasn't the flavor I was going for. Um, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. What did you think about them? Yeah, I was I was pleased with the noodles as the ferry boat arrives and honks its horn real loud. Uh, overall, I thought that they were great. They were kind of what I was going into the meal expecting. Great like honey teriyaki flavors throughout them. The vegetables that were served as part of the, the platter, or should I say vegetable, basically two giant hunks of broccoli that did not have much seasoning or real flavor. It could use a little bit of butter, it could use a little bit of salt and pepper uh, coming with that, but those were great. The honey, um, what, what was the honey wings? Coriander, Honey I think. coriander wings. Those were good, a little overcooked for my taste when it comes to a chicken wing. They were definitely done. That 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 there's no <laughs> there's no denying that. But the uh, the honey uh, coriander glaze was great on the wings. I just felt like the wings overall were a little over overcooked. I like the wings. Uh, I appreciated that the sauce wasn't spicy. I think that. For some reason lately, Disney's had a lot of spicy stuff, uh, but I appreciated that the sauce was very approachable. And I don't know, the thing with the noodles, I think, is because you can go down to Captain Cook's and they have very similar noodles, but they have all kinds of vegetables and things in them. And so, I, I don't know, I guess I want vegetables and stuff in the noodles, but they were okay. Uh, they just weren't the star for me this time. Next up were the main dishes that came to the table as part of tonight's dinner at Ohana. First up was the wood fire grilled teriyaki beef, the spicy peel and eat shrimp, and the grilled chicken with Polynesian inspired chimichurri sauce. I was really impressed with the uh, oak fire grilled teriyaki beef. Uh, it, I called it the steak, but it was more tender than I thought it would be. And I love the sauce that it was in. Yeah, here's the thing. So like I said earlier in the video, you've got to take away those like preconceived notions of Ohana. So if you remember like the burnt beef chunks that used to come <laughs> to the table on the skewers, this is not it. It is literally like an oak fired filet mm -hmm. with an amazing teriyaki glaze. I would say that this was cooked to a nice medium or even more on the medium rare side, super tender. Of all the meats that hit the table tonight, this was probably my favorite. And uh, I definitely could have ordered more if I was not stuffed to the brim with all the other food that we had. Yeah, for sure. Uh, the chicken was good. I like the chim chimichurri, but to me, the chicken was just a little bit dry. So this chicken actually for, uh, I, I actually had a different impression. So this chicken for me was probably like the second best thing that I ate tonight. What I find odd about the Ohana dinner is you've got the chicken wings that come out as an appetizer and then you have chicken as a main too. So it's chicken and chicken. And I feel like one of the two needs to go and this might sound blasphemous, but I'm going to say it's probably the chicken wings. <laughs> yeah, that's, you're crazy. <laughs> yeah. But I felt like this chicken was great. I loved the chimichurri sauce on it. It had a nice char to it. So overall, like, this was one of my more favorite dishes. Actually, all, all three of the mains, the shrimp as well, uh, the peel and eat shrimp were flavored very, very well. Um, were a little bit messy in, in the peeling process. I will agree, a, a little bit overcooked, but I really enjoyed all three of them. Uh, yeah, and I didn't know that the shrimp was called spicy shrimp. I probably would have been a little more careful when I <laughs> ate it, but it was not spicy at all, which was which was a good yeah. thing for me. But I dipped that in also in that sauce that the steak had, that teriyaki sauce. It was very good. Yep. All right, if all of that food is not enough for you, then comes what I would say the reason you came to dinner, or maybe you could just jump straight here, which is the Ohana bread pudding. 
This is uh, basically the Ohana bread pudding served a la mode with ice cream on top and homemade caramel sauce drivel, drizzled all over it. And like I said, I probably could have taken more to go or just come here for this. Yeah, you know, I used to, I'm, I've never been a big bread pudding fan and I used to kind of skip the dessert here, but I thought it was really good today. Mm -hmm. the, the ice cream was a vanilla bean. It was the kind that's just, you can see, you know, the, the little flecks of the actual vanilla mm -hmm. bean in it. And the the cake, the you know, the bread pudding cakey part yep. itself, it just, it was like a perfect had some pineapple uh, chunks in yeah, there. Yeah, a little spongy, a little pineapple-y, coconutty, but but none of the flavors were overpowering. And I just, it all really went well together. When I poured the caramel sauce on it, it was so hot. I had to use <laughs> a napkin to lift the little yeah. uh, little ramekin thing that it was in. So it just, the, the hot and cold kind of really worked well together. It was it was an excellent dessert tonight. Amy, Amy took one for the team and has, has second and third degree burns now <laughs> to get the perfect shot of the caramel drizzle on the bread pudding, but uh, definitely worth it. We were lucky enough tonight to get probably one of the best views in the house, which just looking out our window at Ohana, there is Cinderella Castle along the way. I wish we could have stayed there later and actually yeah. watched the fireworks from that view because it was probably what I would say one of the best seats in the house. Yeah, and this was our yeah this is our third time eating there, and we've never been anywhere near the window. So what a blessing it was to get such an awesome view. And I just I just stared out the window most of the dinner. It was just. And the, the overall atmosphere of the restaurant is really fun. You've got a guy walking around playing the ukulele, singing some of your favorite songs. Um, just a very welcoming and friendly atmosphere, which I think pays homage to this entire resort. You know, that's, that's really what Ohana is all about. That's really what the Polynesian culture is all about, is just being friendly, making you feel like family and feeling like you're sitting down at the table with a bunch of friends for, for a nice meal. The service that we had tonight was, was good. We didn't feel rushed at all. I felt like they paced everything mm -hmm. uh, very nicely. And something that also stuck out was that there was a chef who was going around table to table and just- His name it, was Paul. His name was Paul from Pittsburgh. Uh, so we kind of talked to him about, about that a little bit. But he was, uh, he was really great, it was funny. He was just, he visited pretty much every table and, and welcomed guests and asked them, you know, how things were going with their dinner. And I, I don't know, that was just a really cool gesture, I yeah, think. Yeah, and, and he's really where I got that idea of saying, you know, take away those preconceived notions. I heard him telling the table behind us uh, when he was talking to them, you know, we're gonna make you maybe forget some dishes <laughs> that you didn't enjoy here over the years because that family had been to Ohana before as well. And so I think they've really been listening to some of the feedback of the restaurant. I agree with what you said. It was very well paced in terms of the meal. Nice little breaks between each. Even at one point after the uh, appetizers, they bring out warm, or should I say like scalding hot towels to wipe your hands off with, which was just a nice little sort of rest in between uh, the appetizer portion and before the main courses came out. Uh, the only miss on the night for me, and this is just like a small thing that I am always very I guess cognizant of is uh, water so uh, for me if, if if the water glass gets empty and it doesn't get refilled after a while that's just like a small thing that is kind of a standard of service that I always look for so uh, you might hear me talk about that like fairly often it's just something where it's like don't let that glass get empty. And it's not like, I, I don't think I was drinking like a camel tonight or anything like that. Uh, no. uh, but you know, it, it's just one of those small things, but overall wonderful service and just a wonderful atmosphere at the restaurant throughout our meal. I think I'll wrap things up by asking you two questions. First is, do you plan on us coming back soon? And number two, would you recommend this to a family that's maybe coming here on a DVC vacation pretty soon? All right, so, uh, Coming back soon, probably not soon. I mean, there's, you know, I like Ohana. I think it's been a couple years in between each time that we've come. 21-ish? Yeah, I think yeah. we were last year in 21. 
So it's to me, it's it's not something that I need to do every single year, even just maybe every few years, uh, come back and experience it. I like it. I'll I will come back, just probably not for a while. Uh, just there's just so many other things that you know I want to eat and try, and the horns are kind of loud out here. Yeah, but I would say that if you've been if you've been kind of waiting to come back to Ohana because of some of the things that you've heard. I would say this is the time. I think they've fixed a lot of the things that they needed to fix. They got rid of some of the misses that were on the menu that came back after the pandemic, like the seafood casserole, which I don't even know what they were thinking with that one. But I think that they've kind of gotten things squared away, both on the service side and in the kitchen to make it a overall great meal. Yeah, and then for your second question, would I recommend it? Uh, I think it's a great place for a family. And there were lots and lots of families, a lot of children there tonight. And, and it seems like the food was pretty approachable, you know, noodles and uh, the puff stickers and things like that seemed like kids and anybody really would like it. Yeah, well, we're getting close to happily ever after. So we're gonna sit here and enjoy the fireworks, but hope you enjoyed our dining review of our experience here at Ohana at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to our DVC Fan YouTube channel, and also follow along in the conversation at dvcfan.com and within the DVC Fan Facebook group.